Hey guys, welcome back. <clears throat> um, today, I'm uh, making um, what's called fix and wax. Now my mix is, it depends, I usually do either a 50-50 mix if I want it stiff or if I want it um, more soft and pliable for putting on leather and things like that, I'll do a 60-40. Today I'm doing a 60-40 and that's 60% um, shea butter and which is unrefined and then 40% um, beeswax and today I'm gonna a lot of people do it on a double boiler but you really don't need to it's if people think that they're gonna be um, if they have to be really really safe or anything it's no big deal but and uh, what I do is I simply use an old uh, tiny little like a meatloaf or a um, uh, pan for um, making like little, little breads and uh, after you're done using it you can throw it away or you can reuse it so but I'm just going to simply put this stuff in and so I can let it start melting down and uh, then I'm also going to be using um, coconut oil and uh, usually if you're going to do it on the stove top, put it out medium heat or so, so it doesn't get too, too hot. And uh, what I'm also going to be using, because it's going to be more for leather and wood, things like that. I'm also going to add one, uh, basically one tablespoon of uh, pine tar which is a kill burned pine tar. If you don't use kill, um, kill burn style, style stuff, you're gonna be getting things with cresol in it and you don't wanna to touch that, you don't wanna be messing too much with that. So the stuff I'm making, you can actually put on your skin. This, you can actually be used as a salve. Um, but if, it, if you're using stuff that's not kill burned, you don't really wanna put it on your skin because it's got cresol in it. And as you can probably see, I I score lines. I measure it out and score lines in my uh, my beeswax, so I can get good measurements of it. And uh, so that's that. And then I'm going to be putting them in tins like this once they're filled up. And then I can give them out or uh, send them to people and stuff. <clears throat> I'm also going to be, because this is going to be a 60-40-20. Uh, this is going to be 20% of this, or, <clears throat> sorry, 20% of what the mass is is here, 20% of the coconut oil is going to go into it, and then a um, tablespoon, or tablespoon of the pine tar, and then about 10 drops of penny royal instead of uh, mint. I'm going to use penny royal today. So this is going to be used... Mostly for um, like leather products. Um, I know a couple of people need to do up their jackets and stuff like that. A couple of guys have some axe handles and stuff they want to do. Uh, so, uh, as you can see, it's melting down pretty good already. So, I'm going to let this melt down and uh, come right back as soon as it's melted and uh, we'll keep going from there. Okay, so now it's all melted down. So now I'm gonna take roughly two for this mix. To make 20%, I'm gonna need just about four of these. Still starting to melt. Three and I'll make four. Thank you. 
Well, that'll simply melt down quickly. Now I'll wipe this off. And there you can see this stuff is it's dark. <laughs> so if you're gonna use it on leather, it definitely will slightly darken it. As you can see, it just, well, I hope you can see it. It's kind of just spreading brown throughout the mix. Now I'm just going to simply drop in. That's enough. About 20 or so drops. Penny Royal oil. Just gonna simply get this out of the way. Take, turn the heat off. Put that stuff in the garbage. It's where a steady hand really helps. That make sure you put an old pair of gloves on. And there we have it. That is um, one of my fixing waxes. I'll let this dry. It's already starting to wax up. And it's hot. And it'll have a nice kind of a uh, campfire type smell to it so that it's not overly um, intense so if you're using it on any type of leather that might be used for hunting 
or anything like that. It's not going to smell funny. So that's pretty much how I do it. Thanks for watching, guys.